So now we're on to D2, so that's distinction level two. And it says we need to evaluate the design and optimize website against client requirements. So we have the requirements from earlier, what this stuff we said had to be there, right? So let me just go ahead, find my list of requirements. Let me go to the very top. It's somewhere here we go, my list of requirements. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. I'm just gonna copy and paste it to where I know it's gonna be necessary and we can evaluate it, right? So to evaluate it, we need to say the website now versus the original design or the, or the original plan. And if changes were made, say what those changes were. So I'm gonna go through some of these points and say, yes, all of these things were implemented. They all work, they all don't work. They didn't work originally. I had to go back, I had to fix this, I had to fix that. Before we do that, I'm gonna quickly just look at my original design again. So this is my PowerPoint that I used to design my website. Very messy, but that's fine. This was just my design. I'm gonna look at this and say, hmm, what has actually changed from design to actual website? So what you could do, if you wanted to flush this out some more, have, uh, if you wanted to have some screenshots, I would probably, uh, let me go back to my website. Let me open the actual homepage. Where is it? GTA 6 uh, website, index, right? I'm going to drag this over here and I'm going to, this is my website here and this is my design. What I'm going to do, let me zoom out a bit on this. Let me do a screenshot. Let me just grab all of this, right? And let me go to my document and I'm just going to paste this here for now. Maybe put this inside a table so they're, they're both relatively small. Insert, table, go to. As you guys can tell, I really love tables. Everything is inside of a table. Not the best way to design stuff, but in any case, it's fine. I'm going to screenshot this one as well. Grab all of this and put this inside a table as well. So this is my original design versus my actual design. It looks pretty similar to me. Now, there were some things that I left off, which is fine. I'm going to speak about them. And I'm, I'm going to actually say, oh, let me undo that. I'm going to say negative things about my own design, about my own development, which is perfectly fine. Because on here, let me zoom in on this. On here, I said I wanted date and time here. So right next to my banner or in the banner, I wanted to use some HTML stuff to do date and time. I don't know how to do this. I mean, I do, I could figure it out. That's not the point, but that's what I'm gonna say in my document. I don't know how to do this. This was, this was gonna take me longer than expected. I tried multiple things, nothing worked. So I decided to move on. So let me create a new line. Let me zoom out so it's not too messy. Uh, move this up just a tiny bit. I'm gonna highlight this and merge. Where's merge? Here we go, merge the cells. So again, these are my list of requirements. Feel free to put your list of requirements here just so you, you can refresh and see what you actually did versus what was in the plan. So this was the plan. The list of requirements was the thing were, were the things you wanted to do, right? The things you wanted to do were here. This is the actual design. Again, the thing you wanted to do. This was the actual outcome. So website now versus original plan. So I'm going to say for item one, um, in my original plan, I wanted to have the have the time in the banner uh, showing, uh, I don't know, showing the current date and time. Don't judge my grammar or spelling here, please. I'm just doing this off top of my head. Uh, there is no script for any of this. I'm just talking as I go along. Uh, showing the current date and time. I realize this was taking much longer to implement, not implemented, implement than I originally uh, anticipated. I tried, TR, tried a few options, or tried a few uh, different, the yeah, FFE, different methods, and nothing seemed, as it seemed to work the way I wanted. I had to scrap this feature as it would take too long for me to figure out. And I wanted to focus on completing the functional, there we go, functional requirements. 
spelled that wrong. F U N C T I O N A L T I O N A functional R E Q I R E M E N T S functional requirements. And now we have two kinds of requirements typically, right? Hopefully this made sense. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. So I'll speak while you guys go over and read this. This should be S, not Z, using the English version of English, not the American version of English. Let me zoom in. So we have two types of requirements typically. Let me just put them here. We have functional, TIO, functional, and we have non functional, right? Just like the name says, I, again, I keep telling you guys, IT people are rubbish at naming things. Functional. If something is functional, that means it works. It means it's, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's functioning in the way it was designed or, or just the way it's supposed to work, right? And then we have non-functional. When, some, when something is none, that means it's not. It's not there. It's zero. We have non-functional. It doesn't work. Or it's not, in this case, in this um, context, it means not necessary to work. So let's go back to my design here. Does having the date and time present in my banner or on the website actually make my website work? No, it doesn't. It's a nice feature to have. It looks pretty. It looks neat. It's like, oh, look, the date and time in the banner. But it's not a like a, uh, a necessity for my website to work. What, I, what my website needs to work, needs to do what it needs to do. I need to have images, buttons so I can go to different pages, um, icons at the bottom so I can click on one of them and, and, and take me to an external page or email or phone call or WhatsApp or, or whatever the case is. I need to have images scrolling through because my website is about games and I want to showcase my game. Me having a date and time here is pointless, absolutely pointless in terms of my website working. Now, if your website was, I don't know, a weather station website that tracks weather all across the globe or all across the UK, for example, and you don't have date and time on your website, that's not a good idea. But again, it wasn't an absolute requirement for my website. If it is for yours, then you need to have it working. However, you can come and say my website is not fully functional because and state the reason or reasons why it's not fully functional. But for me, it's fully functional because I have my images, I have my banner, I have my rollover images, I, I have my image carousel here, I have my icons at the bottom so I can um, click on things to take me to different places. Um, Obviously, me leaving the, those obvious lines in from the tables, not a good idea. I just left them in just because, right? They're very easy to take out, but I just left them in. So this is how I would actually go about starting to evaluate the design and optimize version of my website. And I would say how I optimize the website again, I, I would mention stuff, but I would do it for individual sections. So I've done this now for the homepage for the date and time. What else on the homepage was optimized? Um, what else on the homepage was made better? My banner. I didn't have an exact design for my banner, so I could simply go through and say, um, the banner was optimized in making it a JPEG image instead of a PNG image. So you're essentially copying some stuff from the first, uh, part, not from the first part, but from M2, I believe. Yeah, it's too far up. Yeah, you're copying some stuff from M2 into this, but not copying and pasting, but just mentioning, um, well, evaluating how it was actually optimized because again d2 says evaluate the design and optimize website so you're evaluating how well it was done was it done well enough yes i believe so why was it done this way so i changed again my png images so my png banner to a jpeg banner um, how i did this i just exported the same file as a jpeg instead what was the benefit of this uh, it made the banner roughly, I believe it was 10 times smaller. I'm just going to say 10 times smaller here, 10 times smaller. And what, what effect would this have on the website? Well, typically speaking, it, it would load a lot faster if this were on a server. But because it's a local file, you click on it, it opens really, really quick. I'm using an SSD on my laptop. It's not going to slow down whatsoever. Two megabytes versus 15 megabytes. A normal human like me won't see the difference. However, 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 on the actual web server, on an actual website online, two megabytes versus 15 megabytes, especially for mobile phones, is going to be a massive difference in most cases. If you're not on really decent 4G speeds or 5G speeds, if you're on 3G speeds, you're going to notice a difference. So again, you know, let me just do it here. There's no point in me just saying it. Let me just do it. So um, this is the one I did for date and time. I'm not going to copy and paste the image or should I? Yeah, I might as well, to be fair. Let me just copy and paste this whole thing. Um, again, we are, I keep forgetting, evaluating, right? So let me copy and paste this. This is for the banner, 
So I can use the same image, the same image is fine, but maybe it's a good idea to note somewhere that this one is banner, uh, B-A-N-N-E-R. Um, and I can say PN, PN, uh, PNG swapped out again for JPEG as it would make the pages load a lot faster. Same thing we said before, uh, evaluating why was this a benefit? Now, when you evaluate something, you give your opinion. In my opinion, or it is it is my belief, It is I am of the belief, I am of the be, uh, belief this is a positive, P-O-S-I-T-I, -I, positive thing, or positive change, whatever you want to say. Again, I'm just going off the cuff. I'm not reading anything. I am of the belief that this is a positive change because it um, would make mobile phones load the website faster, for example. Mobile phones load the website <coughs> faster, for example. Now, I'm not giving the best description or definition here, but hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to say here. Um, yeah, so that's how you would go go ahead and evaluate individual items of your website. So I've done, I didn't do that thing. I've done the banner. Um, what else? I can use the social media icons as well. So in my original design, I didn't have social media icons. However, it was recommended by a reviewer that I added social media icons. I did this for all pages. This did make the website larger. So I might as well do that one as well, to be fair. So not everything is going to be positive, which is perfectly fine. So I can say social media icons. I can use the same screenshot or I could crop the entire image and just have that, that tiny section down there and this tiny section down here. But I'll leave it as it is because I'm explaining everything. Um, so I can say social media icons added to all pages. This is both a benefit and a drawback. Um, a benefit as users uh, do not have to go through all the pages in order. You just have to go through the, all the pages in order to uh, find, I don't know, find the social media icons or whatever thing it is that you did. It might not have been social media icons. However, well, on the other hand, or, or um, adversely, or as I say, on the other hand, on the other hand, the website as a whole has been made larger. L A R G -E -R. G E R. Why has it been made larger? Think about this, right? I've got five pages. I've got home, about us, content, buy game, and contact us. If I only had the icons on one page, so let's just say for argument's sake, all of these icons added up to five megabytes for one single page on the entire website sitting somewhere in a web server. This should be MB, well, MB, megabytes, not megabits, right? That's just for one page. So let's say equal one page. Now, I have five pages. So um, we should just, just do 25 megabytes uh, equals five pages, and that's it, right? So I've gone roughly, this is just me guesstimating random, random numbers. All of these, so the phone, the email, WhatsApp, Facebook, I think that one is Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and Twitter, something like that, right? All of these added together make five megabytes. I'm just estimating again, keep that in mind. That's just for one page, but I have five pages. So I have to copy these images onto all five pages. That's going to be 25 megabytes roughly, me estimating again. So again, not everything is going to be a positive change. Not everything is going to be a good change. This, I believe, was a good change, even though, even though this was done, I think this was still a positive change. And you, oh, you can say that. I'm not going to say it here. You guys are listening. You can say, even though it was made larger, I still believe it was a positive change. This is just a common thing nowadays. When you scroll to the bottom of a website, you find all the social media icons. When you scroll to the bottom, you can click on do whatever you want without having to go back to the home page and go to the contact us page and so on and so forth, okay?